Hey, Dr. Simmons here. Welcome to week two of Learning to Lead. Uh, I cannot tell you how impressed I am with the good discussions that you've had, the good interaction you've had with those wiki introductions. You've done a great job on those wiki introductions. Thank you a lot for that. I've enjoyed reading the comments and uh, seeing all the things that, uh, uh, that, that are in part of your background. That, that's really good. Uh, let me just say that um, the discussion has been very, very good and that I've made comments on the discussions. Uh, some of you lost a point or two because your discussions um, did not have a, a reference to our text or any other area, and some of you did not uh, respond uh, to another student. So you need to do that. Let me just say uh, it, it's very, very important. These discussions are very, very important because they developed uh, two uh, thinking skill uh, areas that are, are very necessary in a, a good uh, a good leader. First of all, they develop some good uh, creative thinking skills. By creative thinking skills, I mean you have to read something, uh, figure it out from some things in the textbook, and then you have to come up with a creative idea in, in which to express that it, so that it's in your own words and the idea is yours. Uh, and so you're developing some good creative thinking skills. Absolutely essential for leaders. You have to be able to think outside the box. You have to think creatively. You have to come up with brand new ideas based upon the information that's available to you. The second thing is I'm hoping that you develop some good critical thinking skills. The good critical thinking skills come from you being able to read what another student has said, uh, to do an analysis of it, and then to respond uh, in kind uh, with some uh, critique of it. Um, some of you have been a little bit guilty of getting uh, sounding more like counselors than leaders and educators, and, and I'm a counselor, so I, I, I don't want to say anything negative about that. But it's been sort of touchy feely. Got a boy, good job. Uh, I want you to be a little more uh, academically robust in those. So uh, nobody lost points about this this time. But in the in the future, I will look for them to be have a little more academic robustness, uh, maybe a reference. And these are to develop some good critical thinking skills. Uh, good leaders must be able to think critically, to analyze things, and then they must be able to think creatively by coming up with ideas. Uh, this is not just some sort of busy work. It, it really is to help you develop. Uh, those skills. If you've already got those skills, it will help to enhance those and develop them further. Let me say, uh, if you go into your, uh, the uh, grade book, you will see that I do make comments on all of the discussion board grades. Uh, I no normally get in the mix of the discussion boards, uh, but I will give comments on each and every week uh, to your discussion. Also, I was very impressed with the caliber of work that you did on your uh, first quiz. A very, very, very good. Uh, and again, you, I make comments on every question, on every test. It takes me a little while to do that, but I, I think that uh, I want to lead by example and say uh, leaders lead by, uh, by excellence. And I want to make sure that I am doing my job uh, to lead the way to show that I can give you good, th a creative, uh, critical, analytical feedback. So uh, I do have, if you do not know how to do that, uh, look at that. You need to look at, pull up your grade book, look at the grade, and then uh, view, uh, what does it say, view view assignment. But I, I do make comments on each and every one of those questions. Um, thank you for the good uh, work on the wiki page. Thank you for getting your information to me uh, on the course, uh, course, um, course map. Uh, that's a very, very important thing. Uh, let me see, you got a group project coming up, so you need to start paying attention to your groups. You need to start getting together. Uh, if nobody's contacted you, then take the initiative, the initiative yourself, that's what leadership is, to contact the other members of your group. You will have two discussions. I have uh, some areas where you can uh, put information in. Um, one of the things you might want to think about is getting Skype, S-K-Y-P-E. I use that extensively. I have uh, contacts in Europe and South Africa and in um, South Africa, in Africa, and we Skype regularly. Uh, so <coughs> that's a good way to do that. You can get a premium and do joint Skyping if you want to. I also have a wiki page of where each group can do their work. Each, there are two uh, assignments that you'll have. These are discussion board assignments, so you will need to do your work, uh, choose up how you're going to do that, and then you will need to post, select one person uh, to serve as the, the leader for that week and to post what you have on that discussion board. Now the next week that you'll do that, and there are two of these, they're not consecutive weeks, but the second one, you will need to choose uh, another leader to do that. Also, you may want to be thinking about uh, what you're going to do on your online portfolio. 
I want this to be top notch. Top notch. It is your final assignment, uh, and I'm expecting really good work. So you need to think about what you're going to put on there. I have some extensive information about what's included and what needs to be there. Uh, I also uh, have given you different connections, uh, different places you can go uh, to where you can get a free uh, site where you can upload uh, your portfolio. Again, get to working on this soon because this, this will be coming in, in a few weeks. So anyway, I, I'm very, very pleased with what I see so far. You've done a really good job. Uh, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your work and the quality I've seen so far. Uh, let me just say about the written assignments, I do expect the written assignments to be run correctly. I expect grammar to be correct. I expect uh, words to be spelled correctly. Uh, much of what you might want to do is answer your questions in um in a Word document, that way Word can check it for spelling. It don't, won't always be perfect because if you misspell something but use another word, it won't catch that. Uh, but I am looking for your discussions to be uh, very professional sounding and academically sound. Uh, so if you start using bad grammar, bad spelling, uh, unclear thinking, uh, I will. It will cost you. It'll, it, you I'll have to deduct some points. So make it as good as you can make it. You need to get in the habit of excellence. Let me just tell you, get in the habit of excellence. Get in the habit of clear communication. Get in the habit of solid, sound, uh, clarity of thoughts. Uh, when I read something that is unclear to me, I'm thinking it's unclear in your writing because it's unclear in your thinking. Uh, good strong discussions, and, and we have one every, have good strong discussions every week, uh, are are designed to help you to write correctly. But before you can write correctly, you have to think correctly. All of these are habits that we need to get into: clear communication, clear thinking, vision, excellence, and a lot of other things as well. Uh, discernment. We're going to be looking at the difference between leadership and management. How do you discern the difference? What is the difference? Anyway, I'm looking forward to a great, great term. I hope that we can do everything we can to help you get into the correct habits of what you're doing. Now, if you are, are in the education field, a teacher, principal, so forth, then uh, the third book that you write your book report on, and I'm expecting good work on that, is already listed, The Moral Imperative of School Leadership. Uh, if you are not in, the, out in that, you, then you, I have some other books listed uh, that could possibly be a choice. If there's one that's, that's not on my syllabus, and there are a number of books listed on the syllabus in two different places, if there's one that you want to choose that's not on the syllabus, be free to contact me to see about that. However, the book that you select should not be, should not be a book that you've already read, and should not be a book that you've already written something on. Uh, it needs to be something new and fresh. Again, part of being a good, effective leader is the ability to be creative, to be open, to be looking for things. So don't be hashing out something that you've already read. Get something that you've never read before. Uh, we're on the honor system, so I won't know. But actually, leadership is not about me. Leadership is about you. And the real test of whether you can be a leader is can you be a leader uh, when you need to be, uh, and can you look yourself in the, look at yourself in the mirror? Uh, let me just say quickly, I will be out of the country from Tuesday until the following Tuesday. I am told I will have reliable Internet access, but I am not sure that I will or not. Um, I will try to respond as timely as I can, but uh, I uh, am uh, not sure how reliable it will be. Uh, please send me messages in my message board. I'm not sure how well the email will be working. Uh, and I'll respond as quickly as possible. But please be patient with me if I don't respond as quickly as I normally do. I normally check my message boards uh, two or three times a day. So anyway, um, the second week we'll have not have a password on the, on, the, on the quiz. So don't worry about passwords. All right. Uh, again, I'll be back in town uh, on Tuesday, February the what is that, 7th, 6th or 7th, whatever that next Tuesday is. And... Uh, so anyway, uh, good work. Thank you for everything, and uh, I wish you uh, another good, good week. Uh, keep me proud because you're doing really, really good. Thanks.